Hello everybody and welcome to Luxury Benefits channel. My name is Sviatoslav and today we will talk about benefits of the sun and sunning method by Dr. Bates and about pencil exercise sunning. For the most part, humans are day persons and retina of the eyes it just works better in daylight. In the absence of sunlight, the retina gradually adapts to this and becomes pathologically hypersensitive even to the most common illumination. The hypersensitivity to light or photophobia is not only a defect in itself, but also a sign of some kind of disturbance in the visual system. Almost all cases of photophobia are acquired and due to the fact that most people spend most of their living indoors. In photophobia can be cured, the eyes get rid of significant degree of stress and this improves its functioning. Exercise designed by Bates for this is called sunning and consists only in the fact that a person look at the sun through closed eyelids. At the same time, the retina gradually gets used to brighter light, until the moment comes when the eye can function normally in light. Warmly the sun and the healing properties of its rays increase the positive effect on eye health and on person ability to relax them. You need to start the exercise from a few seconds, then close your eyes with your hands and wait until the after image disappears. The exercise is repeated two or three times. Everyone the next time need to slightly increase the time spent in the sun and add one more repetition. Over several weeks or months, the total time of stay must be brought in the sun up to 20 minutes. It also happens that a person cannot look at the sun with his eyes closed at all. Then it's necessary to choose for the exercise the lightest part of the sky then you can look at. At next time, Move your gaze a little closer to the sun and look at this area with closed eyes. Even if the sky is too bright, you can start with artificial light, gradually bringing the gaze closer to the lamp until it becomes clear that it's already possible to go outside. If desired, sunning can be performed two to three times a day if there are no sun outside artificial light can also be used. A regular lamp or lantern will work with a mirror reflector. Do not use fluorescent lamp for sunning and infrared and ultraviolet lamps are absolutely not suitable. The exercise is done like this. You need to sit down that the lamp is at eye level and at a comfortable distance. At each subsequent lesson, they move a little closer to her until the brightness through close eyelids will not come close to the brightness of the sun. Another option, put the lamp at behind your back, tilting it so that it's reflected in the mirrors on your knees. For outdoor stunning this option is not recommended, since the properties of the reflected solar rays differs from the properties of direct rays. Regardless of where the sunning is performed, outdoors or indoors, you need to slightly move your head, so that the light is evenly distributed over the retinas. The easiest way is achieve this by turning your head from side to side 90 degrees or slightly more. In this case, the turnaround time in each direction should take 7 to 10 seconds. Can replace the movement with shaking the head, while every few movements change direction to the opposite. During the execution of sunning, the person should feel the sensation of a pleasant nap filled with warm light passing through the eyelids. This sensation spreads through the body while will not feel it completely. If during the exercise a person feel discomfort or any other 
inconvenience the lesson should be stopped. Some descriptions of the Bates method mention a more advanced exercise with where the eyes are open and the sun hits the retina directly. Not a single person in their right mind it will not look directly at the sun, as this could lead to several eyes damage. However, a brief and very careful look at the side of the sun disc is safe enough. At the same time, the sun can be substituted only one eye, the other must be covered with a hand. Turn your head quickly to the sun, slipped along the retina, turning head should take only a couple of seconds. After that, blink as quickly as possible, then repeat the exercise with the other eye. Close your eyes, cover them with your hand and wait until after images disappear. Sunning with open eyes is useful for those who have reached the final stages of training in the Bates method, as it removes the last traces of photophobia, but in a normal situation doing it is not noticeably more beneficial than sunning with your eyes closed. Moreover, it can cause eye strain. Therefore, it's better to refuse it, or at least not start with it. In any case, it must be done carefully and not too often. In general, sunning can be performed at any time, where there is such an opportunity. It is advisable to avoid wearing sunglasses. After completing the training on the Bates method, the need to use them may disappear altogether. It wouldn't necessarily happen, but this is quite possible, and in any case you should choose glasses with high quality lenses. Cheap sunglasses are not able to protect the eyes well from ultraviolet radiation. The habit of squinting or grimacing, which often accompanies photophobia, can persist even after photophobia disappears. You need to get rid of deliberately. This is especially true for a woman, because narrowed eyes contribute to the appearance of wrinkles around the eyes. Sunning should improve daytime vision, but it worth considering night vision as well. For this, from time to time you can shift the inclusion of artificial light by a quarter or even half an hour. In this light, you don't have to try to make out everything in detail. It's useless and will create a tension. We need to relax and try perceive surrounding. You can even look not at the object, but slightly to the side from it. With this light will fall not on the macula, but on the area of the retina where the numbers of rods exceed the number of cones. Fusion exercises. They are aimed at increasing the efficiency of the external eye muscles and help improve function, such as tracking, searching and scanning, and visual control axles. Together with the techniques for training accommodation, one of them will be described in this video and other in the future videos. Exercises for improvements in the fusion reflex are most similar to ice exercises. Exercise with a pencil. Among other things, it can be used as a test to determine if a good visual axis control function works. Take a pencil and hold it straight in front of you at a distance of 45 centimeters or 18 inches from your face. Look at the pencil and then focus on some distant object, for example at a point on the far wall of the room. In this case, a person will see two blurry pencils. Both pencils should be visible from the same clarity. If only one pencil is visible, or if the distant points doubles, then the visual axis control function is impaired. If only one pencil is visible, then you need to close your eyes one by one and it will become clear which of them are weaker. Then you have to close the stronger eye 
and look at the pencil again. Focus your gaze on a distant point and remember which side of it is a located pencil. Open your eye, determine if it completely suppresses the weak eye so that the pencil immediately turns out to be on the other side or there is an opportunity to keep the image at least for a short time. Pencil that was visible to the weaker eye. Do the same exercise if both pencils are visible but one is seen clearer than the other. If the distant point also doubles, you need to perform the exercise with both eyes, in turn focusing your gaze first on a pencil, then on a distant point, and then again on a pencil. Repeat the exercise three times with each eye, and then try to perform it with two eyes. Everything that is written may not work the first time, it's not a problem. The main thing here is exercise regularly. Once you mastered the pencil exercise, you can make it harder. Take two pencils. For this exercise, you need a remote object capable of fit into the gate. Move one pencil at arm's length and the second keep a few centimeters from your face. We must try to see two gates, one inside others, and that the remote object is placed inside both. In this case, it should be so that each of the four pencils was visible with equal clarity. Also the nearest gate will certainly be more blurry. If you focus on the distant pencil, then the distant object will split in two and each of the images should be seen with equal clarity. Later move focus to the near pencil. The distant pencil should now form a gate, surrounded on both sides by paired images of a distant object. And again these paired images and the gate must be seen equally clearly. Finally you need to focus somewhere in the middle between the distant pencil and the distant object and try see not only near and far gates but also paired images of a distant object. To perform a more difficult version of the exercise with two pencil, you must first focus on the near pencil, seeing the gate formed by the distant pencil. Look away from the next pencil and try to keep the gate unchanged known distance. Repeat the same with the distant pencil, trying to hold unchanged paired images of a distant object. For the third version of the exercise, you need two pencils of the same thickness but a different colors such as yellow and red. By placing them a few centimeters apart, on the same distance from the face. You should try to see the double gates, three roads the middle of which consist of superimposed images of both pencils. For example, a yellow pencil is in your left hand and a red one is in your right. What color will be middle bar? If it continues to be one color, for example a red, corresponding to the color that a person sees with a stronger right eye, it is necessary try to change its color to yellow, then again to red, then try to make colors superimposed on one another. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Today we discussed Dr. Bates signing method and fusion exercise with a pencil. For me personally, pencil exercise is very interesting and helpful and now I'm enjoying to stay on the sun. I hope it will help you. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again.